Hello everybody, Skellibjorn here saying, hey, how's it going tonight? Just going to do a quick demo video here of the uh, Daily Needs mod. Uh, the Mark III version, that is the full version with all of the blocks and all of the options. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because there's been a lot of confusion as to what you actually need to do in order to get this to work. Um, so, I've, I'm in the world here where I took all my screenshots. Okay, so I've got all my blocks here. I've got uh, all of the optionals that are needed uh, to use all of the full functions of it. Uh, there's stuff that you don't need to do. Um, okay, so first of all, the mod is furniture aware. So if you have a chair, if you have a bed, if you have a toilet, there are things you can do that... Uh, would not normally be available to you. I mean, it, the mod will still work, but it's some extra immersion. Okay. Now, the mod blocks themselves. There's the water recycling system for um, actually converting ice into drinkable water and for converting gray water or wastewater into, again, drinkable water. There's the enclosed hydroponics farm. That is for uh, literally hydroponic, hydroponically growing your food. There are the open cage hydroponics. Um, they are double the length. They are one block by two block long. Um, they run at about 50 to 75% of the enclosed hydroponics farm um, because of the fact that they are open rather than a controlled environment. There is the food protein resequencer. This is where you actually make most of your foods, if not all. Uh, then there's the soil tray crop grower. That's where you actually grow seed crops in artificial or organically based dirt in order to create food. Okay, so in my inventory here at the moment, I've got the basics. I've got organic waste from my suit. I've got ice, I've got gravel, I've got gray wastewater, I've got tomato seeds, and I've got uh, drinking water packets. Okay, so we're going to go, first of all, to the recycler. Okay, we're going to drop the gray water in. Now notice, it's processing the gray water down. We are getting drinkable water. And we are getting trace organics pulled out of there as well. So what that means is you have a way to start without actually having anything. Uh, the original mod, you couldn't do that. Drop ice in there, same thing. It's going to purify the ice into drinkable water. And it's going to pull the organics. Now, it's vanishing right away because I'm running um, Izzy. Give me a second here. I'm going to turn that off. Oh, I'm not running, is he? I thought I was. Never mind. Anyways, so that's the basics of the water recycler. Now, the enclosed or the open cage hydroponics, they both work the same way. So what we'll do is we will grab, we've got organics uh, on us, we've got gravel on us, and we've got drinking water packets on us okay so we'll go to hydroponics okay hydroponics needs gravel and it needs drinking water and it needs organics watch it's beginning to process and grow fresh vegetables for us now watch just watch the inventory you'll see it go up soon there you go. See? So it's growing vegetables. You need the gravel. You need... Uh, actually, the gravel is not needed. But you do need the, the drinking water and the organics in order to get things going. Now, we're just going to grab some more of our supplies here. We're going to grab more organics. We're going to grab fresh vegetables and water here. Okay. We are going to now go to the food protein resequencer. Now, the current block here does have an access on the front. That may change. Um, Stoli is doing up a whole bunch of new blocks for the mod. So that may change. You may have to access it otherwise. But here we go. 
food protein resequencer. We're going to put our supplies in. Okay, we've got all of our basic supplies. We've got fresh vegetables, uh, organics, water, and gravel. We're also going to need some vegan food, which is created... There we go. Also with the food protein resequencer, but we'll show you what you do here. So you go to your production. Food protein resequencer. Okay. Say we want to make vegan food. We need fresh vegetables to do that, as you see. So we'll get one packet, and it's processing those fresh vegetables. There you go. You got uh, a food packet. Okay. We've got the other supplies in there, which will allow us to do, for example, artificial food. So we need organics, gravel, and a drinking water packet. We'll just crank one of those out. Artificial food is not as good as vegan food. It's also not as good as the meals. Vegan food is not as good as the actual full meals. Okay. You want to make coffee? There you go. Fresh vegetables, because it converts those into uh, a coffee substrate. And then drinking water packet. We want to make a hot chocolate. There we go. We'll make a hot chocolate. Fresh vegetables and drinking water packet again because it converts to vegetables. Luxury meal. We haven't got the wolf meat, the sabroid egg, etc., etc., but possible. The not so beef burger and fries. Basically, tofu burger. We'll make a tofu burger. You get the idea. Once you've created your base materials, you can use the food protein sequencer to make all of these meals. Space meal bars, also known as combat rations. Those take a while, but it cranks out two of them. Meteor storm there we inbound. go. And not so bacon and tra scrambled eggs. Basically, resequence protein for tofu bacon and kind of scrambled protein eggs. Sorry about the cannons going off in the background. Tof uh, tofurkey dinner. Tofu turkey. Good God, it's World War Armageddon out there. Thank you for destroying the meteors, Italian laser. Okay, so you get the idea there. Alrighty. Um, pretty straightforward. Now, the... Oops, fingers on the right buttons here. Okay, soil tray crop grower. Okay, again, we're gonna, we can't access it right from the front because we can walk right into it here. You know, walk into your garden, you know, weed it and all that. Anyways, uh, that's going to change. Um, okay, so we go to... I'm going to need some materials, I think. Where am I here? There we go. Let's grab some materials. Okay. We'll go to the soil tray crop grower. Okay. Say we want to grow cucumbers. Now, you need seeds from drop containers to do this. Okay. You'll need those seeds. You also need artificial or organic fertilizer. Now, organic fertilizer is made using organic materials, gravel, and water. Basically, you're making soil from your, well, you know, doo-doo. <laughs> Artificial fertilizer. Um, you need carbon, phosphorus, potassium, gravel, and drinking water. Carbon, phosphorus, and potassium, they are all voxels in the world that you can find in mine. But because they appear primarily on planets and rarely on moons and asteroids... We've got the organic fertilizer, which is real dirt. So you're not at a dead end if you're in space because, of course, organics, gravel, and drinking water, you can get all of that from mining and from ice and from your suit, basically, to start off with. Okay, so you're not at a dead end. Now, um, say we want to make cucumbers. Well, we got everything to do that. Uh, we also have enough, uh, a whole bunch of stuff to make cucumber seeds. We've got cucumbers in the inventory. So we're going to make some cucumber seeds. Because once you've grown your first batch of cucumbers, it uses just a little bit to make seeds. Same with all of them. You can make 
grow tomatoes, potatoes, uh, carrots. The, all of those seeds can be found in drop containers. They're not necessary to your survival. You can make ketchup, you can grow cucumbers, you can grow potatoes, etc., etc., etc. The Martian special, ketchup and potatoes. You get what I mean. So your soil crop grower and your uh, f uh, food protein resequencer, they're both assemblers. They both show up under the production system, and you use them as an assembler. You have to tell it what you want to make, okay? Um, pretty straightforward, okay? And if you've got them hooked into an inventory system, they will, of course, draw what you need to do. So we need, we want to make some cucumbers. We're going to grow cucumbers, and it's going to draw from inventory now growing vegetables of course takes a long time it's about 15 to 20 minutes for you to grow a crop of a vegetable just because and notice that the, the line is slowly progressing there there you go okay so pretty straightforward and you can just let that do its thing now we have in our inventory, and I'm going to put some stuff away here. Uh, this is the food container, I think. Nope, this is the food container. Yes, nope. Where's the food container? Oops. <sighs> oh, my giddy ant. Food. There we go. Okay. Um, cargo. Okay. We're going to put this stuff away into the food cargo. Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to grab the not-so-beef burger, and we need some water. A couple of those. Okay. You know what? I'm going to grab some more. Yeah, we'll grab that. What the heck? And we'll grab that. So they all stack. Cool icons, eh? Okay. Now. Take a look at our levels here. We got a hydration level up in the top corner of 59%. That's the top left. We've got a food level of 86% right now and a stamina level of 100%. Watch when I run around. See, our stamina starts going down. Starts going down, starts going down, starts going down. Fairly quickly because we're running. If we're walking, it goes down slower and so on and so forth. The more work you do, the faster it goes down, or the harder the work. Now, if you're standing still, it goes back up. If you're crouching, it goes back up, and so on and so forth. Now, if we lie down, watch what happens to our stamina. It goes to 100%, but we are resting. So you get a bonus level. So it takes you up to 150% maximum. Cool, hey? Now, It'll stay in the available bonus level as long as you don't drop below 100. If you drop below 100, then the max you're going to get to without going to a bed is 100. Okay? Now, we got a chair. Okay? We're going to sit in a chair and we're going to have food. Now. No, there we go. Now, the chair has noms added to it. The reason is, is because if you're in that chair normally, you just sitting in the chair. But if you've got noms on it, you, it, it tells you to eat. You are going to sit down and deliberately have a meal, and you don't just go to 100% like you would if you're walking around normally. It gives you a bonus as well, 125, 125. Cool. Okay, now, we've been in the chair, we ate. Look what's in our suit. Because we ate, we also vented. <laughs> it's, it's a polite way to put it. Okay? So we have vented into our suit's catch-all some organics and some gray water. Well, we can put those into the back into the system, like so, and it'll use them. They'll just, you'll see them vanish. There we go. So they've been pulled into whichever device needs them. Now, we've eaten and we've vented, but, you know, we're still feeling a little full, so we're going to sit on the space toilet. And there we go again. We have decided to vent. Now, we only had a little bit, but there we go. It's done again. We'll just throw that back into the system as well. That is now going to be available to recycle back into drinking water and back into whatever we need to in the hydroponics, etc., etc., etc. So, very straightforward. Um... Like I said, there's new models coming. 
Uh, these are the old original models, and it's been kind of simplified uh, by previous authors down into only need three blocks. I wanted to add the second hydroponics block because it was cooler. Those blocks are conveyable as well. They are a tube, literally, so they'll work as conveyor uh, sections. And uh, I added the soil tray crop grower in from, which was a separate mod by the original uh, author. So we have a true earth water hydroponics recycling growing system with kind of the equivalent the way i like to think of it is it's the uh, star trek not uh not you know next generation uh but um enterprise star trek enterprise series kind of food protein resequencer it takes your raw material and resequences it into whatever you desire as far as its menu goes pretty straightforward guys so i hope that helps with your use of the mod uh if you have any further questions please do drop them in the comments of the mods themselves um but i think this is going to help you actually use the system much better Again, thanks for subscribing to the mod, and um, we'll see you all on, uh, out in space. Scott Bjorn saying, signing off. Catch y'all.